In MathCAD, you can perform data analysis, including smoothing, in order to remove noise from data. Here I have an XY plot of some test data, and you can see that it is real noisy. So let's take a look at three different functions in order to remove the noise. First, let me tell you how I got the simulated test data. I created a function, which is basically a constant value, plus a linear scaling value, plus the sine of the x value, plus a random number. And this random number is what adds that noise into the data. Then I have a range variable that creates 200 indices. It goes from 0 to 199. And then I created the first column of a matrix, which is that index number divided by 5 minus 20. In other words, it's going to give me values from negative 20 to plus 20 at an increment of 0 0.2. And then I ran that function on each of the X values in the data. And that is the second column in my matrix. So I have this matrix called data with two different columns. The first column, the zero column, is the X data. And the second column, the one column, is the Y data. And just remember, by default, the origin in MathCAD is set to zero. So my first column is actually the zero column. My second column is the one column. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function in order to smooth the data. And let me start off by typing in the name of my matrix. I'm going to add in the smooth data as additional columns in this matrix. So let's see, for data, I want the third column, the one with the index number 2, to be equal to the function that I'm going to write. So let's go to matrices tables, and I will do vector matrix operations, and we'll use this command, the matrix column operator, which is the keyboard shortcut Control-Shift-C. So I'm going to make the second column equal to, let me go to the math tab, and then from operators, I can choose the definition operator, which is the keyboard shortcut of the colon key. This is going to be equal to, let me go to my functions tab. And if you go to all functions, there is a group of functions for curve fitting and smoothing. And we're going to use the median smoothing, the kernel smoothing, and the super smoothing functions. Let's start off with the median smoothing. And with the median smoothing, you're going to pass as the arguments to the function, the Y data that you want to clean up, plus an odd number. And what it's going to do is it's going to take a set of values from that number that you give it that odd number around each data point and use it to find the median at the point. Okay, so that's good. Let's double click on the function in order to paste it in here. And again, the first argument is going to be the Y data. So I'm going to pass to it my data and the column with the index number of one. Once again, we can go to matrices tables, vector matrix operations, and use this command. And this will be column one. Then we'll start off with an odd number of three. So again, it will take the three points around each data point and then find the median. There is another argument here, and this is to be used if you're trying to smooth data in a matrix. Here we're just smoothing data in a column, but you could also use this on a matrix of data to smooth it out, like if you had 3D data. Okay, let me use the delete key to get rid of the other argument. Then I will click on the outside. And let's scroll down to our graph, and we're going to add in another trace here. So I'll click over here in the y-axis arguments. Let's go to the plots tab. I will add another trace, and this trace is going to be that set, uh, column with the index number of 2, the third column in the matrix. And this time I will use the keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-C. And then let's put in the number two in here and then click outside. 
and we can see our data that's being graphed. Just make it a little more obvious to read. Let me go to the red color in here. You can see how the new median smoothing, oops, how the new median smoothing compares to the original set of data. All right, so that's good for the first one. Now let's go and create a, another column in our matrix. And this time we'll use the kernel smoothing. So let's pass data, and this will be the third column. So I'll do control shift C, and then three. And this is going to be equal to, I'll use the definition operator, which is the keyboard shortcut of the colon key, and the kernel smoothing function. You can type it in manually if you want, or you can double click on the value. And just be aware that with the kernel smoothing function, you're going to pass in your X vector, the y vector, and then this bandwidth b value. And the bandwidth b should be some multiple of the interval between your data. So let me double click on k smooth. And once again, we'll put in our x data as the first argument. So that's data, and then control shift c. And the zero column is my x data for my matrix. Then let me use the arrow key on the keyboard to go to the second placeholder. My Y values are data, control shift C one. And then for my bandwidth, we want it to be a multiple of the interval. If you take a look at my index numbers, they're whole numbers and then they're divided by five. So one divided by five is 0.2. So I wanna have some multiple of 0.2. So let's use 0.6 to start out with. And then click outside. And now let's add this in as a, another trace. So I'll click in the Y axis group. Let's add trace. And this will be data. And then control shift C for my matrix column operator. And this will be the third column. Let me click outside. And let's change the, actually I like this blue color. So we have the blue color, you can see it versus the red color. In order to isolate it, I will select the first one that I added in here. Let's choose remove trace. So now you can just see the kernel smoothing function. To bring back the median smoothing, I'll just hit the undo button. And so now we have both the red and the blue on there. And you can see that they're, they're almost indistinguishable from each other. All right, so now let's put in one more. We'll use the super smoothing function. So let's do data and just mix it up. Let's go to the matrix tables tab, vector matrix operations, and use our matrix column. And the next column is going to be equal to math tab, operators, definition. And it'll be super smooth and here for super smooth, you're gonna pass both the X and the Y values. And this is going to do like a localized linear fit or something like that. Uh, so it's using a symmetric nearest neighbor linear least squares fitting on each element in the Y vector. Okay, so let's double click on that. And we're gonna pass in our X data, which is data, control shift C column zero, and then we're gonna pass in our Y data, which is data, control shift C, and it is the column with the index number one, and then click outside, and let's see what our super smooth function looks like. Let me go to the Y axis arguments in my XY plot, and let's go to the plots tab, add trace, and data, Control shift C and type in a value of four and then deselect out of here. Let me make this a nice bright color. Let me go to the plots tab, trace color, and let's use that nice bright yellow. And you can sort of see that yellow on the white background and how it compares. And it comes up with a much smoother result compared to the median smoothing and the kernel smoothing, it's going to come up with something that's, that's more like a, a curve function. So anyhow, there you have it, three different methods 
for smoothing data in MathCAD.